Good morning, 621. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We look like a great little family Christmas photo, don't we? Smile. Uh, we're bringing in from the Manitoba Association of Home Economists. We've got Myrna talking about how to make sure that your uh, guests, even the littlest ones on your list, have a great time at your party. And we brought in some guests of our own. We've got Stephen and Juliana, and we're making a, a little appetizer for the kitties of the party. That's right, because often you go to adult parties, the children are invited, and there's just nothing that, at least my children, who can be selective at times, there's nothing for them. Oh. So this is a really fun type of app. I think we're missing you there. Oh, there we're slide missing me. Now we oh, really look no. like a smile. Oh, now it's a real family there you here. Go. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got us an idea that kids want something to nibble on. That's right, we yes. Want to come and have fun at the That's party. right, and to be able to recognize a pizza, even though it's a small bite size, it sort of welcomes them too, and they feel like they can have something healthy and have a few vegetables on their pizzas, and right? And Stephen's got the lead for us right on this one, so uh, what's Steve doing? Is this pre-made stuff that you got here? We do, yes, we bought country biscuits. They're sort of the pre-made package of biscuits. You know how you can buy Pillsbury yeah. crescent rolls? And so, yeah, you cut them in four, each of them. So how many How many does that make, Stephen? How many guys? Come in four, Steve, quick math. 40. Oh, look at you. <laughs> five, five. five times five is? 25. Yes, well done. All, All right. right, so he's All got right. he's getting those up, so yep. we divide them up, and then we're going to put them in these little muffin trays. That's and, right. And then, Juliana, what do you got to do to them? You got to smash them? Smash mm -hmm. them good? And is it really hard? You got to really, like, really work on it? A little bit. A little bit? You got to come push them in? So is there a rule of thumb, Myrna? We're trying to get them like like halfway full. Is that the um, idea? Right. Just actually, just to give it a nice thin pizza dough sort of layer, and then you can top it. So maybe does Jeremy want to try smushing some? Can there? I smash them? I'd love okay. to. Okay. There you right, go. Let's go. You can keep, get keep, slide keep the other ones in. There you go. Excellent. So some of the toppings, again, you can right. make these in advance with the kids because they're really it tastes great when they come out of the oven warm, oh, or they yes. can go it in the fridge. And what happens to the leftovers, Stephen? Our dog eats them. Your dog what eats them? What happens to the leftovers? Our dog eats them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think dogs are supposed to have cheese, buddy. Oh, don't you take them for lunch or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also lunch, yeah. Also lunch, all right. So they can keep for the next day too, Mom? Yes, they do, all yeah. Right, cool. Or you oh. can make them a day in advance and then bring them out for the party. They don't have to be made hot. So it's something that's a great make-ahead treat. And you can customize them like you guys are going to do right now. All right. So we have pizza sauce you could use, but we use pasta sauce. And okay. So pasta sauce just makes it a little bit easier, a big jar, pour a little bit in. So you guys start with the pasta sauce. All right. And then, um, or pizza sauce, your choice. Pasta. And then Where'd you, you can put Julian? toppings, all um, sorts of toppings. Just take a topping and you can just put a little bit in. Okay, now you and I talked a earlier about how gross cooked vegetables are. <laughs> can you make some just cheese just for you and me? Sure. Is that okay? Mom's not gonna get mad at me for not getting my veggies? No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, so while they're doing those up there, I, I want to, Myrna, if I can, ask a little bit about being a, a mom and a home economist. Um, What's the secret to getting her to eat her vegetables? Well, I was very fortunate. Both of my children love raw vegetables. So I don't have that battle. Mine okay. don't like meat. So that's my sort of trade-off. I have to sort of to really get them to struggle to eat some protein. But cooked vegetables are a different story. So I find that they're mushier or they don't, uh, they, right. don't they find they don't like have, they have a stronger flavor. So raw is great. It's as, great but as long as you're getting into them, that's fine. That's right. Raw's Perfect. Okay, so any tips for getting that protein into it? It's important to a young hockey player to yeah, eat his protein. Yeah, it is very important. That's when he started eating, when he started playing hockey. <laughs> I think his body was naturally craving the protein, but um, three bite rule. They have to have three bites. I don't know. And just get them so to your taste family has the flavor. three bite rule. Yeah, they have to have three bites of everything. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. in my family, we negotiate uh, bites of what you don't like for dishes. Oh, okay. So either way, okay. I'm either getting my dishes done or my kids oh, are getting their excellent. vegetables. Either excellent. Excellent. Dishes in the dishwasher. What we'll do is we'll make sure that these ideas are on uh, breakfasttelevision.ca. We're going to take a break. There's still plenty to come, including we'll look at some ideas when it comes to entertaining and making sure I'm eating locally. That's right. Do you guys want to eat? Shall we? Sure. All right. We're going to take a break. There's still plenty to come today on Breakfast Television. Dig in. Christmas Eve will find me. Treats, but I'm Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thanks for starting your day with us. Your big holiday soiree means some food for your guests, but why not make sure that it's local and healthy at the exact same time? Uh, Myrna's back from the Manitoba Association of Home Economists, and we have our lovely attendees for our party, Stephen and Juliana. Thanks for hanging around, guys. We're going to talk about some great local ideas, and for a lot of people, that means uh, great local cheeses. That's right. So right now we're featuring, there's lots of great cheese, but mm. made in Manitoba, you get your Bothwell cheese, as well as White Shell Dairy is a brand new dairy here in the 
province. So this, this Parmesan making, period? Yes, that's actually goat cheese. Oh, wow. It's a ripened goat cheese. There's also a soft goat cheese, but they're making mozzarellas and some golden boy Gouda. And so that's something else that's kind of fun. So what we're doing is an interactive station. Okay. So your guests come and those foodies, they want to play with their food. So you can, ha those are actually gluten-free crackers made right here at Tallgrass Prairie Bakery. Right on, nice and, to see you uh, Yeah, and so that's a goat cheese. So now you want to take some honey, some honey from Manitoba okay. that we've just microwaved to make it nice and runny like that. Okay, so so this is what yeah. it looks like. This is what it looks like That's a creamed raw. honey, yes. Okay. Yeah. So right from the bees yeah. it looks like that. And, and then, then all I got to do is just warm it up a little bit and I can get it, I can make it uh, look all nice and runny and shiny. That's right. So you don't have to buy the little honey bear if you don't want to have two different honeys in your cupboard. You can just have one and microwave it. And then I do have some toasted hemp seed. So hemp seed is excellent, high in protein. When you toast it, this that's that front one, yeah, okay. you get an amazing nutty flavor. So you can bake with that. You can do lots of things without adding nuts. So it's nut cool. free, but it gives you that nutty flavor. So you sprinkle that on top. On yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you uh, take a bite of it. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to be my sampler? Will you be my sampler? You I've... like cheese, but do you like goat cheese? Steven? All right. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but very polite about it. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about what have we got locally that we can try. All right, so we also, of course, you can get all the jams and jellies. So we have a plum jam, a choke cherry jam. So you can get them to play with those too and just have the jams out because they might want, instead of the honey, a sweet flavor to go with some of the sharper cheeses. Sure. And then there's, we also have a, Buckwheat, buckshot. Yeah. Maybe what is what, uh, right up here? Yes, yeah, so that's buckwheat grown in Manitoba, and it is uh, made into a product called buckshot. So it's roasted and yeah. it's flavored. We have three different flavors: dill pickle, barbecue, up. and there's a natural. And so it's great on salads. It's great just to have in part of a, you know, a trail mix or just to sprinkle. You should try some. It's yeah, really like a, excellent. Like a little, yeah. like a little so they're little roasted buckwheats, like and, the and actual kernel. So I get the crunch of nuts, but no actual nuts. Right. And so buckwheat is excellent for fighting diabetes. We have our Canadian. Canadian Climate Advantage Diet, which shows all the things grown in Manitoba and Canada and how um, healthy properties they have in them so that it'll help fight diabetes or heart disease or whatever, obesity, all those sorts of things. Nice. Can we talk soft cheeses too before I let oh, you go? Oh, Bocatinos. Yes. So this is a well, really well, cute well, little, little guy. I don't know. Can I have a <laughs> toothpick? So we're going to take a little bit of pesto. We're going to spear this with a toothpick okay. and we're going to take some pesto that's made right here in the province as well. This one is a basil pesto, and you're going to put that on like that, and you're going to enjoy it. If you like... Who's uh, going? Am I going yeah, for this one? Sure, you go. I don't think my kids... Remember we chatted about that whole uh, unique thing that they're... Uh, no veggies, even though it's mixed herbal Come on, pesto. it's mixed. It's pesto. It's not really yeah, a vegetable. Yeah, made but, by Pia's But variety. again, this cheese coming from uh, this White is Shell. For, yeah, from White Shell Dairy. Again, that brand new dairy here in the province that's doing the soft mozzarellas and unique cheeses. Beautiful. What a great idea when it comes to uh, <laughs> making sure that I've got uh, delicious stuff for my guests. Make sure I've got healthy stuff, I guess. Yes, yes. And local is always a good idea. And it's harder in the winter time, right, to find local. So it's just, you have to go to a few, the forks. I got everything here at the forks. It's Look at that, easy. right in our own backyard. We put all the information that we can on breakfasttelevision.ca. You guys were awesome. Thank you very much for being here today. We're going to check in on weather conditions. Let's say good morning to Jenna Khan.